This is a can of Red Bull. This is the visual representation of Red Bull Salzburg, who we will be playing in the Europa League today. And this is what I think of Red Bull Salzburg. This is what I think of Red Bull Salzburg. Okay, it's fine, right? We could do multiple takes. This is what I think of Red Bull Salzburg. Ah. Yeah. That. That is what is going to happen to Red Bull Salzburg in today's Europa League round of 32, second leg. Let's get this show on the road. What is happening guys? My name is Adam, I am a Super Swan, and welcome to Club 4, Episode 6 of the FM20 Campus to Champions. We will be in the Europa League, first knockout round, second leg against Red Bull Salzburg. We will be at home for the second leg, and uh, the first leg didn't really go as well as I thought. We're actually 2-0 down from the first leg. They got a 2-0 win. We didn't really play well at all, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, Sesco got the first goal in the first 10 minutes. Then I thought, if I could just grab an away goal, it'll be all fine. So I threw everyone on attack, and then they scored again in the 94th minute. So we, we don't find ourselves in a good position. We have to get a result at the Phillips Stadion if we want to continue our European adventure. But after our two 1-0 wins in the last episode, we got also got knocked out of the Dutch Cup by FC20. And we put a good side out as well. You know, we had Azakan in the team, we had Van der Horn, Zifuk, Zoat, Hadji, Buchenhoren, Ritsu Duan, all the big guns were on the field, and we still lost 1-0 again. Another goal conceded in the opening 10 minutes. And we never really looked like a team that was going to score. So we're out to the Dutch Cup so we can focus on the league. But we did beat Herovin 3-0. Hadji Duan and Bujarain grabbing the three goals there. And our latest league game was a 5-0 destruction of Camber. With Linders, Graham Green grabbing two goals. Duan and Boadu on the score sheet as well. So we do have an uphill struggle if we're going to get past Red Bull Salzburg, we have to score at least two goals. And if they score one, it's going to be quite difficult to qualify for the next round. So this is going to be the lineup. Hopefully, we have to score at least two goals. Zoat in goal. Goosens, Van Droglen, Van der Horn and Zifuk at the back. Regier and Hendricks in the middle with Hadji, Bujarain and Azakan in the attacking positions. And Buch and Horan leads the line we have to at least score two goals if we're to qualify for the next round and like i say if we do concede it's going to be a massive uphill struggle so i'm going to say to the team the media have given you a lot of credit lately go out there and put a worthy performance i'm going to tell Buchan horan i expect a performance today so it is PSV Eindhoven against Red Bull Salzburg in the Europa League. Round of 32, first knockout round, second leg. We're 2-0 down. We need a performance. 29 minutes in and we have our first highlight of the game. And Red Bull Salzburg have had all the possession. But Buchan Horan's through here. He's one-on-one. -on -one and he tips it past the post. And Salzburg have the chance to clear it. Not very good start, if I'm being honest. We're losing the possession battle. That's the first decent chance we've had all game. And we are now on the ball. I'd like to get our first goal as early as we can. So we do need to find at least two goals without reply. As Regia, lovely ball to Hadji. And there is goal number one. Mohamed Hadji grabbing the goal. And we need one more to take it to extra time. Because if we win 2-0 here... It goes to extra time. If we win 3-0, we're 
we will go through. It's a lovely ball, I think, from Bougerain. Or oh, no, it's from Regia, sorry, I tell a lie. As Hadji, lovely run onto the ball, finds the back of the net. One more goal to take it to extra time. 31 minutes just after we scored the first goal. And we're on the ball again. It's a lovely ball to Hadji, the goal scorer. Can he find anybody? Bougerain on the ball. Regia with a shot. Over the bar. We've woken up. It is all PSV. Coming up to half time. 1 0 is the score. We are the side that looks more likely to grab goal number two. As Salzburg now crosses it in, but they've cleared it away as far as Liner. Liner into the box, headed away by Van der Horn. As I can as well, heads it on. If Red Bull Salzburg score even one goal, but let's forget about that as Butch and Horan's dispossessed the defence and Butch and Horan has put it in the back of the net. It is 2-2. We have pounced on the mistake and we're 2-0 up on the night. 2-2 on aggregate and we're doing exactly what we need to do as Butch and Horan dispossesses the defender, slots it past the keeper. And it is now all square in the tie as we go into half time. We are doing exactly what we need to do. So it will go to extra time the way things stand. But we need one more goal. We owe Red Bull Salzburg after what happened last time out. Go out there. Get revenge. As I can on a 6.4. So Ritsu Duan can come on for him. And a second half. Can we grab one more goal? 70 minutes in, let's make another sub. Who's looking tired? Regia's looking tired. He's also on a buck in. So I'm going to bring on Van Putin to play box to box. Am I going to switch the tactics around a bit? I'm going to go slightly more direct. And we're going to stop playing out of defence. And focus our play through the middle. Get the ball up quicker as much as we can. So we're going to sort of, instead of playing a slow passing game, we're going to try and go a bit more direct to find one more goal to win the tie outright. Coming up to full time, end of 90 minutes anyway, we're going into the 90th minute here, and one more goal for either side should be enough to claim this. If Salzburg do score, it is pretty much game over for us, as they will get that away goal. But as Hendricks on the ball, finds Bougerain, long ball to Bouchenhora, one on one to end the tie! Oh... He could have ended it right there. But it was not to be. And we will be going into extra time. I'm going to encourage the team. We're only one goal away. We can do it. And we're going to make one more change. I think it's going to be Zifuk to come off. Van Gelderen can come on and play right back. Just to give us some cover. But we go into extra time. One more goal will win it. 94th minute, it's Salzburg whips it into the box. Headed away by Van der Horn as he chan for Salzburg. They've not really been in this game at all. But so if they do score, it'll be a massive sucker punch for PSV. But I think that 94th minute goal in the first leg could come back to bite us in the end. As Salzburg passing it around the back. They've been very patient here as Liner pass it to Muller. To Luan, the lovely ball in through to Davis. It's a tap on the post. And it goes out for a goal kick. Very threatening from Salzburg. 101st minute. We're coming up to half time in extra time. As Bougerin beats his man. He's in the box. He's got a free shot here. And it's tipped past that post by Stankovic. It's all PSV here. Four clear cut chances. One half chance. One goal from PSV could very well be enough. As Van der Horn tries to find a pass, but it's cleared away as far as Luan. And we're just waiting for that half time and extra time to come at us. But we've still got a highlight here as Van Gelderen long ball into the box. It's Hadji with the shot! Oh! Hadji with a free shot! He should have buried it. He could have buried it. We haven't taken the chances here. Because the first leg, we just weren't in it at all. We really weren't. And they beat us 2-0. This leg has kind of been the exact opposite, really. It's been all PSV. As Lena now, he's got loads of room. He finds a free header. And Alfonso Davis has put it in. It's an away goal. Now we've got to score two. We've got to score two more goals now. Because if we score one, it's not enough 
They've got their away goal. And that... It's a, it's a free header. Davis is there. And that's going to suck all the wind out of our sails. And if only we'd have put our chances away, I think that could very well be the end of our European adventure. Van Gelder on 110 minutes. Folks are in the box. Hadji tries to get there. Goosen's will. And we go all the way back to Van Putten. To Hendricks. We need two goals. One's not going to be enough. As Goosen's crosses it in. There's one. Ritsu Duan gets one. We need another one though. It's 3-3 on aggregate. But Red Bull Salzburg have an away goal. And that counts for double. If we're drawing... So while it's good to get one back, we need one more goal. It's time to go very attacking. And then if I'm going to pause the game, I think we get one more sub in this extra time. We'll have a check and see if we do. Who have we got to bring on? Leeson, Glenn Green or Boadu? Can I bring Glenn Green on for Bougerine maybe? Will it let me do it? It will. So I'm going to go two strikers. I'm going to go Buchenhorn as they advanced forward. Glenn Green, you can be the pressing forward on support. We're going to throw Goosens and Val Geldrun up to wing backs on attack. We're going to go super desperate here. I'm going to leave everything else the same though. Because it does seem to be working. So we've got about roughly nine minutes to find a goal. 113th minute and we're on the ball. This is where we want to be. Buchenhorn. Plays it across the park to Duan. Finds Hendricks. That's a lovely ball to Van Gelderen. In the box. Buchan Horan's there! And there it is! Buchan Horan's grabbed another goal! And what a game this has turned out to be! We've come back from the death. We've come back from an away goal being conceded. And PSV are going through the way things stand. Buchan Horan puts it in the back of the net. And now we'll have to revert back to our normal tactic. So we're going to revert back. Right, so uh, Goosens go back to fullback. Van Gelderen go back to fullback. Glenn Green. No, we don't want to do that. Go back. Booch and Horan can play behind Glenn Green temporarily. So we're going to revert everything back to the way it should be. We're going to go back to balanced. We're going to try and hold on for this win. Coming up to full time, the unthinkable has happened and PSV have won this game 4-1 and we are going through. What a game, what a game. Well done, that was a fantastic win for PSV and from the death, Red Bull Salzburg are defeated and PSV are in the next round of the Europa League. What an adventure, what a topsy-turvy game that was. It was a good job that uh, we showed the second leg as opposed to the first leg. But PSV overturned first leg defeat. The uh, Salzburg manager not very happy. And if we look at the competitions, there's the confirmation. We are through 4-3 on aggregate. And we are through to the next round where we could play Celtic, Krasnodar, Luason Sport, Napoli, Monaco, Feyenoord or Valencia. Big teams left in this draw. But who are we going to get? Europa League second knockout round draw. And as I mentioned, the teams in this pot are as follows. We've got Liverpool, Napoli, Valencia, Schalke, Porto, PSV, Tottenham, Monaco, Celtic, Rangers, Lille, Krasnodar, Olympiacos, Feyenoord, Sampdoria and Luas Sport. A lot of big teams in here we could get. So we're going to do an automatic draw. And we'll see who PSV get out of the hat. Monaco will play Rangers. Interesting tie there. Krasnodar will play Sampdoria. Very close tie. PSV will play Olympiakos of Greece. So that's a very interesting draw. Olympiakos are a strong team from Greece. We don't want to be taking them lightly. But Celtic, Schalke, Feyenoord, Lille, Napoli, Porto, Valencia play Tottenham. That's a big tie there. And Luas and Sport will play Liverpool. What? That's a giant killer if i ever seen one there. So there is your round of 16 draw. 
And we will be facing Olympiakos of Greece, who have won the league for the last at least four to five seasons, managed by former Swansea City manager Michael Laudrup. So we certainly will not be taking them lightly as we will be playing Olympiakos in the second knockout round. But we will focus back on the league. And as always, we are still unbeaten in the Eredivisie. We are 13 points clear of Ajax in second place with a game in hand. So if we win our game in hand, we could go 16 points clear at the top of the Eredivisie. And our second game in today's episode against ninth place, NEC. Line up for the game against NEC at home. Only a couple of changes we've made. So Zoat in goal. Leeson, Van Drogelen, Van der Hoorn and Zifuk at the back. So Leeson comes in at left back for Goosens. Van Putin comes in for Hendricks as he's looking a bit tired. Regia keeps his place. Haji, Bougerin and Duan comes on as Duan did score against Red Bull Salzburg. Glenn Green leads the line to give Buchenhorn a bit of a rest because, uh, you know, we need to preserve our best players. So Glenn Green, he's going to be in the side against NEC. So, so far, we have the chance to go 13... Well, the Ajax have already played, so we're still 13 points, I believe. We'll give a team talk. We'll say this is a great opportunity to show the pundits why they should back you up. And yeah, so this isn't our game in hand. This is our normal game that we're playing. So can we keep our unbeaten run going? Free kick four minutes in. Noster for NEC. But Zoat handles it well. It's the first highlight of the game. And we're going positive. The assistant told me I should go attacking. But we'll give it five, ten minutes. We'll see if we can get some early goals. As Hadji on the wing loses the ball. And now NEC back building from their half of the pitch as Noster Glenn Green intercepts Glenn Green beats his man Glenn Green in the box and Glenn Green gets the goal that is why we have brought him to the club it's his fourth goal of the season he's just a revelation he, oh, he's just my favorite player of this save Glenn Green the man who we discovered in Northern Ireland we brought him to Sweden he scored goals we've brought him to Holland he scores goals and Glenn Green has put us 1-0 up 11 minutes in already 1-0 to the good can we build upon that lead or are NEC going to strike us on the counter as Van Putten wins the ball. He's got players ahead of him. Tries to fly in Glenn Green. Glenn Green in the box. Oh, he almost made it too. But he beats the defence again. Unlucky. That is good defending from NEC. From the goal kick, 12 minutes in. It is all PSV right now. We are the stronger side. NEC having a decent season mid-table. 32 points. You know, they're well clear of the relegation zone. But they are a bit away from the upper half of the Eredivisie. So they're quite comfortable in that mid-table position. And Afshari almost scored against Zoat. 18 minutes in. Not even halfway through his first half yet. And it looks like we're on the ball again as Bougerin finds Hadji. Glenn Green outside the box. Bougerin's through all the time in the world. But he couldn't put it in the back of the net. A bit more composure needed there from Bougerin. But he did get himself into a good position there. As Duan floats it in. Safe hands from the keeper. Throw in 21 minutes. The highlights are coming thick and fast in this game. As Rogier finds Zifuk at right back. Crosses it in. Head of the back post. And Glenn Green again. Almost making it 2-0. Coming up to half time. Still only the 1-0 up. We could have been about 2 or 3 in all fairness. So I'm going to challenge the team to guard against complacency. As Bougerin does feel a bit stressed out. He is on a 6.5. He's not really performing there. Hadji's on a 6.4 as well. So who do I want to bring off? I think I'll bring off... I'll give Hadji 15 minutes. But I'm going to bring Camp on for Bougerin. As he's not been playing very well. Missed a one-on-one. -on -one. We'll start the second half. Still 1-0 up. Looking for some more goals. Corner. 71 minutes. Quiet second half. As it's cleared away, but it's a shot and Afshari's put NEC 1-1 in this game. 
and that'll be because we haven't taken our chances. We should have been two or three up by this point, and we've let NEC come back into this game. It's a good score. It's a good shot. It's a good goal. So I think 71 minutes in, it's time that we make some changes here. And uh, Hanji's come back into it. He's gone up to a 6.6 .6 now, which is good. But I think uh, Ritsu Duan's on a 6.6 .6 as well. We'll bring Azakan on for him. And then is there anybody in the midfield I want to bring off? Van Putin. He's on a 6.9. Regia's looking a bit tired though. So we'll bring Hendricks on for them. And I think we're going to go attacking now to try and find the winning goal. But 1-1. One, one, we haven't been taking our chances. 75 minutes and it's Echel Camp on the ball. Ritsu Duan comes inside. Can he find some players? He takes a shot on his own. It's a save from the keeper. Very disappointing. As we roll in into another highlight here. Free kick from Glenn Green. Steps up. Oh, it's the post. Glenn Green looking very dangerous out there. Another free kick. 80 minutes in. Who's going to take this one? I think it's going to be Hendricks. Hendricks steps up. Puts it past the post. We are knocking on the door. Coming up to full time. And I think it's going to finish 1-1. And it's a good job. We are 13 points clear at the top. Because that was a game we should have won. So I'm going to give a bit of a aggressive. That was not good enough today. We should have put our chances away in the first half. We should have scored two or three goals. But we let them back in the game. And that is what happens when you let them back in the game. So we'll have a look at the news articles first. Glenn Green. To be fair, Glenn Green did well. I'll praise Glenn Green. You were superb in front of goal. He's also now grown a, a beard, just like his mentor, Super Swan. I, I, I'm honoured. I'm honoured. PSV, I know, I just slams the team. Real Betis, scouting Duan. I'm still a B for the board. The board is still happy with the job I'm doing. And if we look at the competitions there, our lead has been cut to 11 points at the top of the league. They're still unbeaten. But we are 11 points clear of Ajax in second place. There's only 34 games in this season because we've only got 18 teams. So we've only got nine games to go. And there's a very good chance we could keep this unbeaten run going. So I think what we will do is we will come back for the second leg of our European tie against Olympiacos. And we've got Heracles. Oh, we've got Ajax as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll play Olympiacos, we'll skip over Heracles, and we'll come back for Ajax as well. So that'll be a first versus second tie. And if we're going to stay unbeaten, then that's the game we want to show. So I will leave the competitions page up with our Europa League group. PSV Eindhoven against Olympiacos next time out. We will show the second leg of that game. Can we continue to the quarterfinals of the Europa League? tune in next time to find out so leave a like if you enjoyed guys subscribe to the channel for more football manager 2020 content we will be uploading campus to champions every monday wednesday and friday 6 p.m gmt and tune in next time as we aim to qualify for the quarterfinals of the europa league against olympiacos followed by a first versus second it's a rivalry game in the eredivisie as we will be taking on ajax Thank you very much for watching.